Mm. You see some red in that shit? Yeah, I see red. It's ready, Daddy. Yay! Yeah, there it goes. Oh! How Zion do it? Bam! bam. Oh. We can't bam with it. <laughs> it say bam. Do you know how to split that open? It's too much, you see. Get strong. Get strong. Bam! Yeah! I feel good about this one. Wait. I feel good about it. Let it. <gasps> Let what me taste it. Excuse me. Mm. I will taste it asleep, man. Mm. Yeah. I will the taste is asleep in. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh baby. Let Mr. Me see. Joe. Mr. Joe will get some of that. So mm. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> It's gooder than the other Come one. Come on, honey. Okay. Hey. Mmm. We won this battle. This this gooder than the other watermelon. This better than the uh, watermelon store. Watermelon wars, baby. That's mm. pretty good. We gotta go. Let, let, let this baby egg, I mean. Mm, say, mm, yum, 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 Ooh, juicy, mm. yay. <laughs> the crab, you wanna taste? This come from our garden, it's fresh. Welcome to Louisiana Gardening Family. Today I wanna talk about particular battles that, that you may face in your garden maybe maybe you don't see it as a battle but but there are battles uh, each season presents its own particular set of challenges that that a lot of times it causes a lot of beginner gardeners even even seasoned gardeners uh, to to get discouraged and and I was listening to the radio today and it was a political type uh, talk show and, and a guy was talking basically he said you know sometimes he wasn't talking about gardening at all but he said sometimes you have to pick your battles and he alluded to the old moniker that we have about uh, understanding that it's okay to lose battles because sometimes uh, even in losing a battle, you understand if you're a good general that it's not the battle that's the ultimate prize. You know, it's it's the war, right? So if we take that and we elude that and we tie that into gardening, we're gonna lose a lot of battles, right? So so when you think of your enemy, you have you have weather. And that goes with, with our Louisiana sun, our swampy conditions, our rain, our everything. And then you have, you have your pests that, that attack your plants. That's another battle. So, so right when you've you gotten past the, either the heat of the summer or, or the cold of the winter and you start to growing, then you get into, you got, you got another fight on your hand. It's the pest or, or, or it's the grass. And, and even after you've gotten all of that taken care of and you neem oil and you're doing everything organic or whatever you can do, then the plant dies on its own. Uh, then just disease comes. <laughs> so that's something in particular that we as gardeners, and I see a lot of uh, people that are, are younger in their channels, like myself, and sometimes you'll see them like stop posting and then they'll come back on and they'll talk about you know well a lot of stuff I want to show you guys uh, such and such came in and destroyed it and I didn't get a chance to show you and you'll see those people kind of dwindle out right because because of the I don't want to say depression or anything of it but but you get depressed when you walk outside 
and you see all your tomato plants just wilted and will not respond to water, fertilizer, anything. You know, so you get a certain amount of depression. But but that's the battle, right? The war is the end result. The war doesn't happen by seasons, right? We we lost the battle this winter really really bad i mean if you look around our property we got into the fight of our life this winter trying to save our trees and i'll tell you we lost that battle but now you think about the war just because you lose in one particular instance Everywhere where there was a dead tree, I put another one. Why is that? Because I understand I want to win the war. I lost the battle. I lose battles all the time. But the war, I'll be you know what if I lose the war. The war is what you want for your family. The war is what you want for your body. Your, your physical man, your physical woman. The war is what you want to establish over the years. So I do, I, I take a lot of more time thinking about my trees because per square foot, right, this, this okra plant puts on a lot of fruit. I would call it fruit, uh, you know, a, a lot of offspring, whatever you would call it. But it can, it pales in comparison to what this Satsuma tree, when it's grown, what it's gonna put out. It pales in comparison to what that peace tree will put out when it's grown. The battle is constantly trying to get these things like this and catch them. That's the battle. They eat some of your leaves, sometimes you catch them, sometimes you don't. That's the battle. But it's the war. It's the war. It's five years from now where you want to be. It's not this year. If you, if you totally, totally failed this spring, this summer, baby, that's just 2018. That's nothing. Right? What I'm looking at, and if you could see through my eyes, what I'm looking at is... 2025 and I might not be there because I'm not gonna say I'm God and I know the future but I can see it I can see 2025 I can see 2030 whether I'm here or not because the infrastructure I'm putting it here now whether I'm here or not whether this is here or not you know something can wipe all of this out but in my mind I'm looking at the end result I'm looking at what I can do to make this become something greater in the future that I don't even hold. That's what's amazing for a gardener. And I look around and I think of all this. And I think of the things that my dad has left here and he's dead and gone. The things that, that he work to leave here for for his children and it gives me motivation knowing that no we might not want any of that stuff as children that dad had or or my kids might not want any of this but it's here right the battle is trying to get them out here some days they come out some days they don't the battle is trying to get them interested in what I'm doing. Some days they are, some days they're not. But the war, what, what we call the enemy, what the war is, is their mind. I want them to be able to remember. I want to impregnate their mind with that, what it took for me to do it. And they don't have to physically be out here at all all the time but they do have to see me out here because then it becomes muscle memory they can come out man I don't I remember how daddy did it 
I, I, I should have came out here, I should have been watching, I should have been listening, but I know it was something like this. And at least they'll have a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of understanding. That's what it's about. We get frustrated because we lose plant after plant, season after season, we get flooded out, everything happens. But remember and keep in mind, these are just battles, season by season. You win some, you lose some. But that war, we gotta take the war. The war is the war is mine, you know. I might have lost the battle of us uh, uh, Orange Tree, or uh, the battle of Orange Tree Hill, or uh, the battle of Satsuma Hill, but the battle of this, uh, the the war going on on this property, I'm gonna win the war. I don't I don't even know. I haven't even planned everything yet. I'm gonna win the war, no doubt about it. Right, so so don't get frustrated, especially to to the younger YouTubers, and I don't mean by age. I mean uh, this is your first few months or year that you've been YouTubing and sharing with us as a community. Your losses, share those losses, right? Some of the most important things you can share. Everybody, everybody's putting on how good their garden is looking. Show me how bad it is. Show me that that you regular like me. Look, like, like show me that you can get knee deep in weeds. Show me that. That's what I want to see. Show me when you got a, a watermelon vine that you scared to cut because you just don't want to miss a chance for a watermelon to grow that you can't even get in here anymore. Show me you're human. And I'll watch every day. So, I gotta go. I think I'm at the 10 minute mark. And I didn't wanna go for 10 minutes. But that's what I wanna tell you. If you lose, if you lost the spring battle, a lot of things didn't go the way you planned, hey, Battle of Fall 2018, let's go, right? If you lose the Battle of Fall 2018, the Battle of Spring 2019, let's go. You know, hey, it's not about the battles. It's just about the war. I'm going to win the war. Peace. All right, so here's one of those battles we were talking about. We're gonna go in and let our dig do this. D That's a big one, there. I got a big one over here too. We got two of them, but this one in our red. <laughs> oh no, just because this one, oh, the tendrils is not big. Like I mean, both of the tendrils is not dried out. All right, let's just get this. But one. this big one is. Come on, man, you scared? What is that? Oh, Lord, it's the air conditioning. <laughs> All right, so both of the tendrils is dried up. Look so up under that ready. water, man. It looks like they got some, enough space under there for something to get. Some water. Yeah, look under that water, man. Yeah, oh, that's a fat water, man. Hey, I got a you success. You see where the uh, thing is? Where the, where the cutter is? Where the uh, vine is? I got it already. All right, let me get up in there and get it out of there. Watch that bang. What's up, my bye, young lady? All right, shoot. That was going to be heavy, baby. Get up, get out of the way. Look at that. Whoa. Wow. Wonder if it's red. Yes, uh, it is. Hundred percent sure. Leave it. Leave it's it. Nice. Oh, it's heavy, baby. Uh -uh. Move, Mama. Hey, don't let it go. Eat. You're not supposed to be picking up uh, heavy uh, stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead on this. Let's open this baby up. 
Excuse me, young lady. Excuse me. Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, it's ready. No red. Oh, it is red. <laughs> Yay! Watch, it, watch your hand, she. Ready. You see some red in this? Shit? Yeah, I see red. It's ready, Daddy. Yay! Oh, here it goes. Oh! How's Zion do it? Bam! bam. Oh. We can bam with it. <laughs> it say bam. Do you know how to split that open? It's too much, you see. Get strong. Get bam. strong. Bam! Yay! I feel good about this one. Wait. I feel good about it. Let it. <gasps> Let what me taste it. Excuse see? me. Mm. I will taste it asleep, man. Mm. Yeah. I will the taste is asleep in. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh baby. Let Mr. Me see. Joe. Mr. Joe will get some of this. So Ooh. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> This is so good. <laughs> it's good than the other one. Come on, one. honey. Okay. Hey. Mmm. We won this battle. This this good than the other watermelon. This better than the uh, watermelon store. Watermelon wars, baby. That's mm. pretty good. We gotta go. Let, let, let this baby egg, I mean. Mm, say, mm, yum, 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 yum. Ooh, juicy, mm. yay. <laughs> you think that you wanna taste? This come from our garden, it's fresh. <laughs>